Good evening, everyone. Even after seeing loaded high school football playoff schedules on Thursday and Friday, we still had some first-round games to get to today here in East Texas, including a big matchup in Class 5A between John Tyler and Texas High. The Lions and Tigers, oh my, they're meeting at Lobo Stadium in Longview. JT up 7-zip in the first quarter when we pick things up. Tigers coming back, though. Cade Pearson finds Devante Walker. He makes a man miss, and then... Makes a move into the end zone. We're tied at seven after that touchdown. Lions, though, driving in the second quarter as it's Bryson Smith swinging it out to James Allen. He makes a nice pickup, picks up the first down as well. And then you can't really see him on this play, but it's Pierre Leonard rumbling into the end zone for the score. So JT back on top, 14 to seven. And later, uh, the Tigers getting a little tricky here. A reverse pass. This one, again, you can't really see the beginning of the play, but you'll see the end. It was Quan Hampton finding Tavalence Hunt for the score. We're tied at 14. That was also the score at halftime. Lions start the second half fast, though. Bryson Smith to Damian Miller. Nice grab by Miller. And then it's Smith keeping it himself around the outside. And great effort extending and breaks the plane for the touchdown. John Tyler again back on top. Now 21-14. Later in the third, it's Smith yet again extending his body and getting another score. 28-14, JT. Lions pull away. They win it 48-21 and will face Mansfield Lake Ridge in round two of the playoffs. Saw another 5A clash in Longview over at Pirate Stadium. Lindale meeting up with Marshall. The Eagles get the ball first and they go to work. Montana Metter up top for Tayton Williams, who catches it in stride. Big gain for Lindale. Eagles will kick a field goal on the drive to go up three zip. Mavericks respond, though. Cameron Holler. Uh, here off the play fake, finds Trell Patton over the middle. No Eagles in sight. Patton into the end zone, puts the Mavs up 7-3. Lindale trying to respond, heading back the other way as Ryan Taylor cuts through the Marshall D, picks up a nice game. But then it's the Marshall defense stepping up. Metter sacked here by big Antonio Washington. That Eagle drive would stall. We move ahead to the second quarter. It's more from Pollard this time going over the middle to Jaquavian Dabbs, who makes a great leaping grab. And then more from Holler. Buys himself some time, ends up finding Chavis Mills, who gets into the end zone to make it 14-3 Marshall. The Eagles hung in this one, but they came up just short. Mavericks win it 21-17 to advance in the playoffs. Over in Hallsville, Bullard facing Atlanta in Class 4A playoff action. And it's the Rabbits getting on the board. Tyrell Phillips running in for the score. Seven zip uh, Atlanta. Then it's quarterback Jeremy Smith showing off his speed, uh, outrunning the Bullard defense to the end zone. 14 zip Atlanta. Now it's 21 to nothing when the Panthers do get on the board. Trey Creighton finds the end zone. It was 21 8 at halftime, but the Rabbits just too much. Atlanta ends Bullard's season with a 44 to 22 win. Let's head south now to Abe Martin Stadium in Lufkin. The Brownsboro Bears taking on Jasper and Brownsboro's Wyatt Reinhardt trying to get things going for the Bears as he finds a little space and gets a big gain to the outside. That drive though would stall. Back comes Jasper as Tiger Williams <laughs> keeps it himself and scores for the Bulldogs. Seven nothing Jasper. Tamrick Pace here with a screen to Xavier Richardson. Picks up the first down. That drive would stall though and the Bulldogs just all over the Bears in this one. Jasper rolls 57-14, putting an end to the Bears' 2015 campaign.